Raleigh police arrested more than a dozen people last Friday for violating the curfew. Now some leaders of the General Assembly want tougher penalties for people who commit felonies during protests and riots. CBS 17's Mackenzie Stasco is live in downtown Raleigh tonight, which has seen its fair share of looting and rioting. Mackenzie. Angela, it sure has. The CVS here behind me in downtown Raleigh is still closed three months later after being set on fire after the George Floyd protests. Now, one of the ideas being discussed by state lawmakers is that people who commit felony crimes like what happened here could be held in jail for up to 48 hours. I know we all support the law of protesting. That's, that's fine. But... Some of the lawlessness as it has gotten out of hand. Following a summer full of countless protests and at times looting and rioting, House Speaker Tim Moore now tossing out ideas to tighten penalties. You know, there's talks about, for example, having like a, if someone's out committing a felony during a riot, Right now, doing like a 48 hour hold, like we do in domestic violence cases, kind of a cool down period. Kerwin Pittman is a social justice activist. He says he's peacefully protested for George Floyd and most recently for Jacob Blake. He tells me adding penalties only demonstrates the need for people to protest. It is extremely egregious to think that any legislator uh, would particularly try to demonstrate this type of law and order against individuals who are trying to speak out against racism. Racial injustice and oppression. And there's something I think is a great idea, subjecting them to civil liability for going out and destroying somebody's property to treble damages and to punitive damages. Pittman's concern is that in a crowded protest, it can be difficult to pinpoint who's responsible and says laws like that could lead to unjustified arrests. He tells me lawmakers considering these ideas should spend a day walking in their shoes. See, the issue is they're so disconnected from the individuals who are out there protesting that they feel the need to lock these individuals up and consider them a threat to public safety. But if they were to participate in the process, they would get a clear understanding of what's going on. Now, to be clear, those ideas you just heard have not become legislation just yet, but they are being discussed by our state lawmakers. Live in downtown Raleigh, Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News.